brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Hi, George and Ken. How are you today? We're having a blast. What's up? All right, guys. Um, so, George, a special thank you, first off, for you know reaching out to me. Um, to, well, wait, wait, to wait, 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 on the show. Wait, George is calling callers now. What is happening? It feels like we Listen, have a boundary. Listen, Stephen, right. he sent me a DM yesterday with his question. I said, "Hey, oh. well, I want to dig into this. Will you call the show? This is a perfect call for Ken and I to take. I want to hear Ken's thoughts. Oh, all right. So we, we got I'm him scheduled, and I'm so elated that he was able to call. You really are a man yes, of the people. Definitely. You are a man of the people. That's exactly what can I say? Happened right there. All right, Stephen, what's going on? All right, guys. So, um, as I mentioned to George, um, I'm a former uh, lottery winner. Um, oh, I won oh, a million whoa. dollars. A million dollars? Yeah, a million dollars on a scratch ticket um, wow. in the state of Virginia when I was 28. And I'm 36 nice. now, and I have gone through it all. Um, Ooh, down to zero. Yeah. Ooh. So I am a part of that statistic that, uh, I don't know, 80 or 90 percent of lottery winners lose it. Um, I swore that I wouldn't be, but here I am. And uh, What was your take home? Guidance. What was the take home after uh, the, the? Yeah, 766000 was what the actual ticket was worth. It wasn't actually worth a million dollars. I know that's what they advertised. Right. Uh, and then I paid taxes on that. So take home was five fifty five. Okay. And over the span of eight years, you drain that five fifty five in your bank account to zero. Yes, sir. Can you, for the benefit of the listeners and a dark curiosity, can you tell us where that money went? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, I bought the ticket, so I gambled to buy the ticket, right? Um, so that that never stopped. Um, it was more so with casinos, uh, sports gambling, et cetera. Um, quite embarrassed by it. Um, you know, absolutely. Well, this is clearly there's uh, addictive behavior here. Have you dealt with that over the last eight years? Are you still grappling with that? Yes, um, I've reached out to Gamblers Anonymous. Um, I actually have an appointment set up uh, to speak with someone uh, to hopefully get get me over the addiction and, and move Good. forward. Is this the first step you've <clears throat> taken I- as we're talking now? What's that? Is that the first step you've taken to get control of this? Yes, and it, I realized that it was an issue, um, but you know, still would still would go at it. Wow. So, it, would you say it was largely gambling? Did you buy, you know, a house, a car, did you upgrade your lifestyle? Definitely upgraded the lifestyle. I a little bit. I did buy a new car. Um, I paid cash for it uh, when I won. Um, I paid off my debts, um, except for one. I had two student loans. Um, I did not pay off the federal student loan. I paid off the private student loan, um, and that's the, that's the debt that I carry today. I don't I don't have a car debt. Okay. Um, well, we're going to no, help you take no the right card. next step. We're not here to beat you up. Um, we know you're you've been dealing with this addiction on top of now kind of being at rock bottom. So lay it out for us. Are you working right now, and what's your income? Yes, sir. Um, I'm in restaurant management. My income is seventy five thousand. Good. And how much debt do you have left? Uh, Twenty nine thousand. All right. And how much money do you have in the bank, if any? Uh, about six thousand. Okay, that's good news. And are you single? I have a girlfriend. Um, not married, but I have a girlfriend, and we do live together. Okay. And the twenty nine thousand is that one student loan or a bunch of student loans? What kind of debt is that? It's two different uh, federal student loans that total the 29000 Okay. So we can start to chip away at that with some of the savings. You have your $1,000 emergency fund. Now we're going to debt snowball these pretty quickly, making seventy five, knocking out twenty nine. How quickly could you do that? Well, I, I have roughly 2400 a month left over after all oh, bills good. paid. Um, so... You know, divide that into the roughly thirty grand. So what, fifteen months, sixteen months? Yeah, you'll be done with this in under a year. I mean, twenty four hundred month. That's twenty nine grand in a year. So let's focus on knocking this out over the next twelve months. Then we're going to get a fully funded emergency fund, so that you never have to go back into debt again. So you have financial foundation. But the bigger piece is getting our spending under control and getting this addiction under control. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really spend all that much. I, I don't live a high affluent lifestyle. I just I gamble. 
you know, and that's that's where it's have going. You, have you have you cut off the the ability to gamble, whether it's your friend group, whether it's the cards, whatever it is that's enabling you to do this? Have you cut those pieces off? I don't really know how to cut. The, I have a couple of friends that that are well aware of what's going on, um, and you know we've spoken in detail. And are they the kind of people that will challenge you, hold you accountable, check in on you? Will you be honest with yeah. them? Could you listen to them? Absolutely. Yeah, they they have done that. Um, we haven't spoken recently. We we had a conversation about six months ago um, about all of it. Um, I, I haven't stopped since then um do you have any credit cards open no sir okay what are you what are you gambling on right now is it football or or what what is it yeah i'll do sports sports gambling um is that through an app or website no this is live okay because the one thing you can do is delete all the apps delete all your logins all your payment info for all these sites you can block these sites too through your browser yeah i think we need to Put you some self-aware that. steps in place. Yeah, I think George is right. Steven, I, I think you have to do that, but you have to have some accountability. Like your girlfriend, like it would be like... And Gamblers Anonymous will help with that for sure. It will, but but I think you need to decide today. I, 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 I'm I not, again, in any way uh, taking away from therapy or anything else, but I, I, I do think you need some accountability, and I would almost treat your gambling like I would a teenager looking at stuff they shouldn't look at on a phone, and I would get the girlfriend involved or a really close friend and set it up to where they set up where there's notifications or something. There's got to be a way to do this, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to just decide, can I wean myself off of this? Can I watch, can I go through one weekend, one weekend at a time? Can I just go through a weekend and not gamble? Yeah, and I've, uh, you know, I've always been... Um... I've always held myself accountable in all areas of life. Um, except this one. You know, makes up, yeah, except this. Well, and so here's the deal. It's, it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating, and I, and again, I think you need help. And I, I would absolutely go and get with a therapist. I would. I, I'd make that. Uh, I'd make a couple phone calls today. I think you need to take action on this and also some accountability. And you know what else? I think you ought to put that competitive fire into making some more money. I'm going to challenge you professionally. What are two or three rungs up the professional ladder for you? Uh, Give yourself a challenge to go make more money by growing professionally. Thanks for the call. Appreciate your honesty, Stephen. We're going to walk with you on this. This is The Ramsey Show. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.